when he headed Iran's Supreme National Security Council from 1989 through 2003. During that time, Iran's henchmen gunned down opposition leaders in a Berlin restaurant. They murdered and gunned down opposition leaders in a Berlin restaurant. They murdered, they killed 19 American soldiers by blowing up the Kobar Towers in Saudi Arabia. Are we to believe that Wuhani, the national security advisor of Iran at the time, knew nothing about these attacks? Of course he did. Of course he did. Welcome back to the Steve Malzberg Show, folks. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, earlier today at the United Nations, um, speaking about uh, President Hassan Rouhani, uh, the uh, president of Iran, Barack Obama's new best friend. Doesn't matter to Barack Obama if he has the blood of America. Iran. Barack Obama's new best friend. Doesn't matter to Barack Obama if he has the blood of America. And that's all that matters. By the way, um, well, let, let's go to our guest and we'll talk about this uh, because uh, call. And that's all that matters. By the way, um, well, let, let's go to our guest and we'll talk about this uh, because. Uh, how are you? Hi, Steve. Very well, thank you. Well, I know you're making time for us today, and I really do appreciate oh, it. Hi, how are you? Hi, Steve. Very well, thank you. Well, I know you're making time for us today, and I really do appreciate oh. it. Well, if Israel is forced to stand alone, Israel will stand alone. Now, uh, that's probably a, a, a reference to the fact that the United States uh, now considers, uh, you know, a, a, the Iranian president their best friend. Talk about uh, what uh, Netanyahu said today, calling the president uh, of Iran a wolf in sheep's clothing, citing what he, the blood that he has on his hands, and how that uh, plays with, uh, you know, Obama's new friendship. Well, um, I'm glad that you mentioned the comment that uh, that um, Netanyahu made about standing Israel standing alone. Um, first of all, I want to say that Israel won't be alone because there were there will be a lot of Iranians who want to see a free Iran and whose brains work and who are logical and rational individuals who stand with Israel. That's one. Um, the next thing is is that uh, those bombs that uh, you know any any missiles or or uh, anything that Iran is is producing is not going to be smart enough to to differentiate between Jew, um, Christian, Muslim. So um, if they are really in um, if they care anything about those people, Palestinian people uh, and they really meant it. Uh, and Netanyahu's right here, uh, they would never in a million years have targeted Israel where in an area where obviously many Palestinians can also get harmed. So um, that is a, in, in and of itself is proof positive that, that Netanyahu's right, that the Iranian regime is by no means, um, it, nothing it does is peaceful. Uh, Rouhani is, in fact, very much a wolf in a sheep's clothes. He described it perfectly. And I can't say that there is much that he said that I didn't agree with. Um, I thought it was charming that he referenced Cyrus the Great and uh, that he acknowledged the um, how far back the Iranian people and uh, the Jewish people go um, in Iran. What's very interesting is that many of the Iranian Jews consider themselves first Iranian and then Jews. Uh, but let's not forget also that there were there were Jews in Iran 1,100 years before we were attacked by the um, Arab hordes and we were forcibly um, Islamized or more turned Muslim. The, the other thing I wanted to um, actually touch on, which you also put the, the, the clip that you put on, where Netanyahu was touching on the to topic of the Iranians who, or the people essentially, starting from Iranians and then Americans and then the, the 80 people in Buenos Aires in the, in the AMIA center. Um, the Iranian regime uh, is absolutely, um, you know, for them it doesn't matter. Iran, it could be Iranian, it could be uh, Jew uh, Jewish, uh, Argentine, it could be uh, an American Indian for all they care. They are happy to um, basically teach a lesson to anybody who gets in their way. And they do it randomly and they're doing it all the time. And it's one of the things that um, unfortunately I've always discussed, but 
seems to go always again um, un, undiscussed or unbroached, and that is the number of suicide bombers that the Iranian regime has that are deployed or deployable. Uh, and many of those, you know, I mean, actually about 90 percent of them are not even Iranian. They're, um, you know, ha- holdovers from the from the Taliban. Um, they're, they are Syrians. They're Hez- Lebanese Hezbollah. Uh, they're, they have a smorgasbord of people who have who they have recruited and they have basically trained and given funds to and blueprints uh, for various operations and so forth. So there's that terrorist aspect of the Iranian regime. But what's very important and interesting is that Netanyahu talked about the Iran assassination of the Iranian opposition people in the restaurant, the Mykonos restaurant in Berlin in 1994. Now, the man who was in charge of overseeing that entire assassination plot in 1994 uh, was a man by the name of Hossein Musavian, who was um, at the time um, one of the um, one of the quote Iranian diplomats uh, in Berlin. That very man was also then later on uh, a deputy to uh, Rouhani, and uh, he was somebody who accompanied Rouhani in many of the trips that Rouhani took to Brussels to. Uh, dialogue with the European Troika during the early 2000s. Amazing, just and, amazing. And yeah. let me finish off by saying this. Mr. Musavian is now a scholar at Princeton University. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to tell me he's serving in the Homeland Security Department of the Obama administration. No, my, you know, <laughs> but he's, he, he, yet again, the American academia does, you right. know, does the amazing mental loop-de-loop that has always left me agog and shocked. But yes, Now Princeton University has given a chair to one of the most notorious and ill-reputed Iranian terrorists. Well, uh, unbelievable, but uh, you're you're an education to listen to as always. Uh, I really appreciate your time today, Benefshe. Thank you. Pleasure. I will speak to you soon. Benefshe Zand, ladies and gentlemen, um, Iranian writer, filmmaker. uh, Her family, very, very, very uh, distinguished in Iran. Uh, her father was uh, destined to run the country, but uh, wasn't to be that well. Not destined, as it turns out. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, very fascinating and intelligent uh, lady with a great perspective uh, and very unique perspective on Iran. All right, folks. Uh, in the next hour, we'll be joined by the Israeli uh, Deputy Secretary of Defense, Danny Dannon. Pete Hoekstra will be here. Steve Emerson will be here. All of that. Imagine on the Steve Malzberg Show on Newsmax TV and radio.